More than a million children in the UK have had their fingerprints taken by their schools as a form of identity, according to a new report by Big Brother Watch. And it's thought the parents of almost a third weren't even asked for their consent. Artist Laura Smith looks at what critics say is a worrying attack on child privacy. Gone are the days when the only time you'd be asked for your fingerprints is if you were suspected of a crime. Nowadays, they're starting them young, at school to be precise. Research shows more than a million school children have been fingerprinted and their biometric data used to identify them for things like cash-free lunches, checking attendance and what library books they're borrowing. It is controversial, though. Big Brother Watch is particularly worried about schools having access to this information and Emma Carr, particularly when it's been collected without parents' consent. Well, absolutely. So it seems that over a million children in a single academic year had this information collected. So I think it's really necessary for schools to be transparent, especially when it's relating to very sensitive personal information. What's your solution then? Obviously, parental consent should be sought. Um, how can we make sure, for example, that this data is discarded once children leave school? Well, the first stage in terms of uh, ensuring that the right procedures were taking place was updating the law to say that parents absolutely have a legal guarantee that their consent should be sought. And also children have to be incorporated into the process as well, not only as part of the education process to teach them the importance of questioning when passing on information, but also to understand just what's happening within the system in the school itself. The figures show 40% of secondary school pupils have been targeted and 31% of schools didn't seek parental consent. So as they go back to school after the festive break, children are handing over sensitive personal data, in many cases not knowing that they're within their rights to refuse. And Big Brother Watch's main concern, that an entire generation of children will grow up conditioned to think that's normal.